Stock and commodity speculator. I even attended the greatest parties in this city, where my charming disposition was always on display. <laughs> <laughs> you might call me a bit of a ham, but the fact is, everywhere I went, I had an audience. Well, some of you may remember me as the leader of the Bohannon Gang, and you'd be right. I've been called everything from a cheat, a swindler, a robber, but I prefer to think of myself as an opportunist. A charismatic capitalist, if you will. <laughs> well, back in the early 1890s, uh, me and a bunch of my friends, like Tom Kenneman and Jim Harris, concocted this plan to swindle the Southern Railroad, <laughs> which is appropriate because my daddy was a railroad man. <laughs> <laughs> well, the plan was that when the trains were coming south towards Dalton, they had to stop in Varnell to take on coal. So when the trains were stopped and the conductors were busy with the coal chutes, I sniffed around these cars to see what I might find. And I found all kinds of things like tobacco, whiskey, coffee, things of major interest to me. <laughs> well, once the train started rolling south, I'd jump in those cars and break the seals once we got to the appointed place, usually at the rock bridge is north of Dolphin up here, I'd throw the stuff out so my men could load it on wagons, take it to our barns, and then we'd decide where to sell it. So things were going real well till one night Tom Kenneman and Jim Harris didn't show up. Well, we went on to Barnell anyway. So once we got up there, these two railroad detectives were there, arrested all of us, called us into court. Everybody except Tom Kenneman and Jim Harris, that is. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, that Jim Harris was a charmer, maybe a bigger charmer than I was. He sang like a canary, told everything about the whole plan, except, of course, his involvement in the plan. Well, the judge decided he might ought to move the trial to Fulton County because he was afraid my men would break me out of jail. And he was right. They would have. I'd become known around here as Robin Hood. A lot of these businesses in town would never have gotten off the ground if it weren't for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you, there were over 90 local businessmen involved in this little plan. Two city councilmen the Western Atlantic uh, Railroad agent, and a man who would later become sheriff of Whitfield County. If you can believe that. <laughs> well, they all got a year on the chain gang. They were fined 25 to $1,000, depending on their ability to pay. And once they paid their fines, their chain gang was suspended. Me, I got 10 years. I did my time, I came back to Dalton, lived a good life with my beloved Florence, bless her heart, lived to the ripe old age of 94, and I'll tell you folks, <laughs> they say that crime don't pay. <laughs> thank you for listening, and thank you for coming tonight. <laughs> All right. <laughs>